So in this exercise, we're focusing on the mechanics of bone fractures. Now these fractures occur through deformation of different types of load. We have torque load, bending load, and compression load. I will now place this generic tibia into this torque machine. And uh, we would like to create a torque fracture. Would you like to try this? So what have we produced? We have created a partly a spiral fracture and a longitudinal fracture. The side under tension is the side which fractures first, which happens to be on the medial side here. It can also be on the lateral side, depending on the direction of the torque. And on the compression side, we have a longitudinal fracture. And this is what regularly happens in a low velocity torque type of deformation. Now, we will go to the bending type of deformation. And again, we have a generic bone which will be put under a bending moment. Would you like to try to fracture this bone? So let us see what type of fracture we got after applying a bending moment. Now I'm holding the bone so that the uh, smiley is the compression side. And when I put a bend on this, it opens up as a transverse fracture on the tension side of the bone. And if I keep on going, you can see this is what happens with the compression side. We have fragmentation on the compression side, which often is just a wedge, which would make it a B-type of fracture. This time, we would like to demonstrate an axial load and the effect of an axial load on the bone. We have this vise in which we put in a small piece of bone. I want you to apply some axial compression on this little bone by turning the handle. Okay, now stop. And now we can see that it is starting to bulge. You see? Yes. Okay, now continue turning. Okay, stop. Now let's, uh, let us see what we have. Now open up the vise. Here you can see the product of axial compression, which is a combination of compressive and tensile stress. This is visible in the oblique fractures that have been created. A wedge was formed, which we have removed, so that we now can see directly into the shear planes. So now let us discuss the results of this exercise and what you can learn. In the online faculty support packages, you can find faculty guides for each station and, where appropriate, topics for discussion and frequently asked questions. In case of questions, please send an email to templates at aotrauma.org.